Hello everyone, how is your week? Mine's pretty good. Yesterday was really warm and so my husband and I went on a picnic. It was about 71 degrees Fahrenheit and um, today is about half that and it's very cold so we're very thankful we got to enjoy the last bit of warm weather. <laughs> Today I'm doing a watercolor painting, and I decided to do this elf that has no hair really, she just has flowers, and you're not really sure, you know, if she actually has hair, or maybe, maybe she just grows flowers out her head, you know? I kind of liked the concept of this flower crown that's actually growing from her head, so that's what I was aiming for. You can totally interpret it however you wish though. So, I'm going to ask you a question, and I hope you respond in the comments. What was the last thing you painted? Some of you guys I know do not like to paint, and so you draw a lot, but I'm just curious to see what was the last thing you painted. If you have never painted before, feel free to say something you drew, you're more than welcome. Or if you're really excited about a piece of art you've recently done, tell me about it. I would love to hear. This piece, um brought about a lot of intimidation. <laughs> I felt kind of scared to conquer it, but it was something that I just kind of, I don't know, I kind of saw it in my mind for a while. Like, I really, really wanted to do a lot of flowers on somebody's head. Um, but flowers are kind of scary for me to paint or draw because I just feel like it's so much detail and I feel like my flowers just never look how I want them to look. So instead of being negative about it and just deciding not to paint it, I decided, you know what, I might have negative feelings about how my stuff might look, but I bet if I gave it a try, it would turn out okay. So let's just try it. And I tried it, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, I feel like it's so easy for artists to have these negative feelings about their work before they even try it. You know, like, it's so common for people to say, I love art, but I can't draw. But I don't think that's true. I think everybody can draw. I think we all just have this part of us, you know, that's kind of afraid to try it because what if we don't like the outcome? And that's, that's totally okay. Sometimes I do certain projects and it's my first time trying it and I don't like the outcome, but other times I love the outcome. But regardless of the outcome, it always teaches me that practice is so important and you never know until you try. And so this piece was so humbling for me um, because, you know, I just had this negative outlook and during my process, I really did struggle. I had to stop and on my Twitch stream, I asked people questions like, how should I do this? I need your help. And you guys were so helpful. And it just made me feel so humbled to know that like, we are all in this together and our art will not be perfect, but um, asking for help from other people is a good thing. And just practicing and just giving it your all, you know? It's such a joyful feeling when you actually finish. So I hope that's encouraging for you. That was kind of my journey. I felt so at peace when I did this. And let me just tell you some techniques because I know you guys like to hear that. For most of this, I did like a solid color wash on every area. Like for those leaves, you notice I just did that. Um, for her skin, I started with that. For her shirt, I started with that. For these flowers right now, I'm doing that. And after I do this kind of like wash, I go in and I do my shading. Now I'm using only watercolor. I did use gouache for those little flowers that are hanging on the right side of her jaw. I used a little bit of gouache for that pink. That's the only gouache I used. So all of this is watercolor and I basically just went from light to dark because that's how you use watercolor. But uh, yeah, I felt like um, everything felt more uniform if I did these washes first and um, I was very happy with that, so I think in the future I'm going to continue doing that. I used a really large brush to kind of get that filled in, I guess, and then I used little brushes, you can see them sitting next to the painting, for all my details. 
Something I struggle with that I figured I should share with you is that I love to use small paintbrushes, but that can actually hurt you if you are painting in large areas and you don't use a big brush to fill it maybe. Your colors might not look uniform. Now, my background is purposely kind of blotchy. I kind of did this like paper towel lifting thing. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you might see it, but some parts weren't recorded. But like for the skin and everything, you know, a big brush really helped me. Um, and then I went in with a little brush to do details. Anyway, that's just a side note. Everybody does things differently, so um, I don't think there's really a right or wrong way. It's like a way that makes you feel comfortable. And I hope that your art makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> this video is like a pep talk. By the way, um, if you want this print, it is in my store. This is a limited edition print, so it's not going to be there forever. I'm going to do a couple limited edition ones here and there from now on. Um, I just think it's, I don't know, kind of fun to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I had such a blast painting this, and I'm so glad I just kind of conquered my fear of painting flowers. I mean, I've been incorporating them in my art lately but incorporating multiple species intertwined and um, like this is just, um, it's different from my old pieces, I guess. So I feel ready to move forward and to keep pushing myself and to see where this journey takes me. I'm looking forward to the different things I can learn along the way. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys what you think, maybe share what you're trying to get better at or if you have criticism, you know, I'm open to it. It's okay. <laughs> I am so, so happy that I conquered this fear of painting all these flowers bunched together. And I seriously can't wait to try this in other mediums. <laughs> Especially oil or acrylic. That would be so fun. Do any of you guys like to paint flowers? kind of fun now that I've tried it <laughs> a couple times anyway. Anyway, I will show you a couple shots of the finished piece here in a second, and um, that's about it. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're from the U.S. I hope you enjoy your time with your friends and family, and for everybody else, you know what? Have a wonderful week too. I hope you enjoy your week, and Eat some good food and have fun. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon!